I would like to welcome you all uh, in the lecture series of placement and training. In this session, I'm going to discuss uh, most likely questions for the technical round interview conducting by Johnson Control. This is applicable not only Johnson Controls company. Uh, apart from that, this is suitable for those who are preparing for core electronic branch, especially for core electronic domain. So let's get started. So what are the most probable questions you can expect during uh, the core company, especially uh, the focusing on AAA, EC. So those type of company, you can get the following most repeated and most likely questions. So kindly watch this video completely to have a better idea how to crack the technical round. I promise you that you can get a confidence after completion of the video, you'll be getting a confidence how to clear or how to crack the interview, especially Johnson Control. Yes, let's get started. First of all, uh, I would like to divide entire segment into three. The first part is mainly dealing with the core technical questions with answers. The second part is dealing with the uh, HR rounds and the managerial round. And the third round is belong to the most likely and the most repeated questions for especially core companies. Let's get the first part of this video that is core technical questions and its answers. First of all, let me choose one topic that is called basic electronics. From the basic electronics, we will be getting the following questions. I'll give you a model. First one. What is the difference between diode and photodiode? You know, uh, diode allows only one direction flow of current. I mean, unidirectional flow of current. Okay. Where photodiode generate the current when exposed to light. So that's the peculiarity of photodiode. It's a light activated diode. So normal diode, it's basically, uh, it conducts uh, only one direction. Unidirectional current flow, it will support. It will prevent reverse power flow or reverse current flow. So that's a peculiarity of normal diode. So even diode also can be divided as signal diode as well as power diode. If it is for only for like a small and a, a low power application, we'll be choosing uh, the diode like a 1N4001. If I go for like a high power application, we'll be go going for like a MUR series or any other type power electronics application. So I hope you understood the meaning of diode and the photodiode. Make a note of this. Second one is explain transistor as a switch. How does transistor act as a switch? So the base current is applied. The transistor goes into saturation. So it will act as a closed switch. When the base current is zero, uh, it will act as a cutoff. Therefore, it will act as an open switch. So two region you are supposed to introduce. One is saturation region. Other one is cutoff region. Therefore, a transistor will act as a switch. So it depends on like a, some type of transistor, especially BJT, that will act as a current control device. Uh, where uh, some another kind of uh, transistor like a MOSFET that will act as a voltage control device. Similarly, difference between MOSFET and BJT. So BJT is a current control device which shows very high gain and is, uh, the operation is lower compared to other type of uh, switches and more power loss is going to occur and uh, high conduction losses. These are the peculiarity of uh, like a bipolar junction transistor. It's a basically a current control device. When I talk about the MOSFET, it's a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, which is a voltage control device, which has high input impedance and uh, which perform very fast switching operation and low power loss and preferred for like modern circuit. These are the major difference between MOSFET and IGBT. It is one of the uh, important question you can expect for your interview. So another few more questions from the basic electronics. What is cutoff frequency? The frequency at which output power drops to 50 percentage or the voltage to 70.7 uh, percentage or minus 3 dB of maximum. So it is used uh, for filters and amplifiers. That is actually the importance of cutoff frequency. Uh, so active and passive component. Difference between active component and passive component. In the case of active component, which can control by passing the current, especially transistor, op-amp, IC, all are actually called active. If I talk about the passive component, cannot control, only store and dissipate energy, resistor, capacitor, inductor, all are comes under passive component. So this that is the major difference between active and passive component. I hope you understood. So a few more questions I wanted to list out from digital electronics. Difference between latch and flip-flop, which is one of the evergreen question. Latch is a level triggered. It will operate based on uh, like a level triggered operation. I mean, it works while enable the signal is on. If I take about like a flip-flop, it is a edge trigger device, works only uh, when the clock is activated. Okay, so that's a major difference between latch and flip-flop. So another important question, what is the setup time and hold time? Setup time is nothing but the minimum time before clock gets input must be stable. That is called a setup time. If I talk about the hold time, minimum time after the clock gets input must remain stable. That is called a uh, hold time. 
what is multiplexer we have many inputs one output it's a combinational circuit that select one input line out of many based on selector switch so it is used for data routing in communication system okay we have many input in that one output will be selected so what is meta stability when flip flop input changes clock to edge then output may oscillate between 0 and 1 that is a, that particular state is known as meta stable condition uh, a few more question I want to discuss from the communication systems. What is modulation and why it is required? The process of varying the carrier wave, for example, amplitude, frequency or phase in accordance with the message signal. So it is mainly used for the long distance transmission to minimize the losses and it perform multiplexing and noise reduction. That is a speciality of modulation. Difference between AM and FM. It is one of the evergreen questions you can expect in the interview. AM is nothing but amplitude modulation, which where the amplitude varies with respect to message signal. So bandwidth is nothing but two times the maximum frequency. It gives more noises. If I talk about like a frequency modulation, frequency varies, bandwidth higher, but less noises prevailed for radio and TV application. What do you mean by signal to noise ratio? Signal to noise ratio measures the signal strength compared to background noise. We need to maintain high signal strength noise, high signal to signal uh, high signal to noise ratio to ensure high quality better quality so let me discuss few questions from control system why negative feedback is preferred because it reduces the distortion improves the stability increase the bandwidth reduces the sensitivity for the parameter variation first order versus second order system what are the major differences first order means one energy storage element example we have like a uh, uh, RC circuits all are belong to first order system. If I talk about like a second order system, two elements RLC circuit sto shows oscillation damping ratio like that is actually called a second order system. Moreover, the power of denominator polynomial of first order system is one, where the power of denominator polynomial of second order system is equal to two. Uh, what is damping ratio? It is nothing but the ratio of actual damping to the critical damping. Measure the oscillation in second order system. That is what we use zeta damping ratio if zeta equal to 1 which is we call an undamped system if zeta lies between 0 and 1 it is called under damped system if zeta is equal to 1 we call critically damped system if zeta greater than 1 we prefer over damped system these are the different values of zeta zeta nothing but uh, damping ratio regarding embedded system a few important questions i, I could notice one is what is pwm and where does it use for pwm is nothing but pulse with the modulation so, which is controlling the duty cycle of pulses? I mean, which is used for motor speed control, light dimmer, and communication systems. What are the difference between UART, SPI, and I2C? UART, it is serial, then simple, only two wires. You might have studied in the microcontroller. If we have TX and RX like wires which are applicable in UART. What is SPI? Uh, it's a master slave. First, Fast uses four wire, for example, MOSI, uh, MISO, SCK, and SS. What is I2C? It uses two wires. It includes SDA and SCL, support for multi multiple uh, devices and equipment. Uh, what is difference between volatile and non-volatile memory? Volatile memory, data loss when power is off, for example, RAM memory. Whichever the uh, data which is stored in the RAM, it will be vanished whenever power turned off. If I talk about like a non-volatile memory, data will be retained even though power is turned off. Once the power is recovered, again, you can see the same data. ROM, flash, IPROM, uh, erasable programmable memory, all are examples of non-volatile memory. Okay, so that is regarding the first part. Moving on to the second part, there are most probable few HR round questions or you can say managerial level. Tell me something about yourself. You need to talk about yourself. You have to talk about your education. You have to talk about your projects. You are supposed to talk about your skills. And you are supposed to talk about what is the reason for you are going to join in a core company. Okay. Next, uh, there is one example. If you want, you just go through it. Uh, speak more technical. So within 90 seconds, within one minute, you are supposed to explain. Tell me something about yourself. You should speak energetically. You have to correlate uh, like uh, why you are going to choose. What is the reason for choosing uh, the, the company which you are going to attend? Then why do you want to work in Johnson & Control? Because it is a global leader in building automation, heating, ventilation and cooling and electronic based solutions. It aligns with my technical skills in electronics and my interest sustain sustainable smart technology. So I am going to correlate uh, the company profile with respect to my career aspects also. Because if I get a good career, of course, that will be helpful for the company also. Likewise, you need to speak diplomatically. 
Question number three. What are the what are your strength and weakness? Strength is good problem solving capacity, quick learner, and teamwork. You can add any other valuable points which you want to add. Weakness. Sometimes spend extra time to ensure the perfections, improving by balancing the quality, the speed. You are mentioning the weakness such a way that that is another way of the strength for an organization. Correct. Tell me about your project worked on. So you have to talk about your project. You should study well how to speak project within a few sentences. Explain one project, problem solution, draw outcome, uh, like a design an IoT based smart energy meter using Arduino, reducing the power wastage by 15%. That is one of the good topic. So where do you see yourself after five years? I see my, myself growing as a technical expert, leading project in embedded and control systems and taking more responsibility within Johnson Control or any company which you are going to appear. You have to mention the name of the company. So that is what exactly everybody understood. I don't think that five years I want to become director, never possible. So experience will lead you, uh, will take you at the top ladder. Why should you hire you? Why should we hire you? Because I bring a strong foundation in electronics, proven problem solving skills and adaptability. Uh, I am motivated to learn and contribute to Johnson Controls innovations. Of course, that is what I am going to hire you. That, that's what I am going to join or that is what you are going to hire me. Are you willing to relocate in work shift? Always say yes if possible because I am. It, it indicates that you are very flexible. I am flexible with the relocation and the shift as I want to grow in this role, of course. Uh, if you face technical problem you cannot solve, what will you do? Uh, first, I will analyze uh, the systematically, uh, then refer to documentation or resources and if still unsolved, I will consider teammates or seniors. That means you are a good uh, like a communicator as well as you, you, you are going to coordinate with the team members. I believe in a teamwork and learning because teamwork is very, very important for every organization. Rather than individual work, companies are preferring in the teamwork. Uh, like in the third part, I would like to show you some important questions which I had repeated for Johnson and Control. Technical explain heating, ventilation and cooling basics. Difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Explain the closed loop control with a suitable example. Uh, what are operational amplifier application? At last, what is IoT? What does it connect with the building automation? What is the role of IoT in the building automation? So prepare accordingly. You can add more questions. That is not a big deal. Uh, the why Johnson Control and not IT companies, you have to justify it. Then what do you know about our product? At least you study some product name which is uh, referred by the company. Even if, if even if you know about some products, so that you, you have to explain. Why Johnson Controls and not IT companies? What is the reason? What do you know about our products? You have to identify the product which is already uh, launched in the website of Johnson Control. How do you manage the deadlines and trim project? This is a very common. Are you ready for training and upskilling? Yes, of course, but you have to justify the reason. So in this video, I discussed elaborately what are the most probable questions which are going to ask in the Johnson Control. Apart from that, I request you to prepare based upon your textbook and uh, your content which you have written on the notebook. So tomorrow, uh, like uh, you prepare uh, like very well uh, and uh, uh, revise it properly. Okay, revise it properly so that you are going to clear the uh, core company interview without any issue. So not only Johnson Control, this session will be applicable. Those who are still keen, keenly looking for electronics based company or electrical based company. So if you prepare that, I'm, I'm promising you that. So you'll be having like a very good connection with the human HR manager and there are chances of getting selected. You are speaking positively. Of course, uh, they want the po people those who are speaking po positively rather than speaking negatively. So I wish you all the very best for your examination. So prepare well. Uh, so try your level best and use the mirror and try to speak up. Okay, so that you will understand what are the problem you are facing. I request you to subscribe the channel for getting more details. I request you to like this video and kindly share the video with the stakeholders. I wish you all the very best and happy learning. Thank you all.